Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we are doing an update on Lemon. We're also gonna be feeding her and I'm gonna be showing her to you guys. Just a side note before we get started, if you guys see like a pink or purple hue over here, I do have some grow lights growing blue, some dandelion weeds as you can see here. They're like these really, really long lights and they're extremely bright, but I didn't want to turn them off because I actually really like them. So, so if you see a bunch of pink around me, that's what it is. Okay, so today's video is an update on Lemon, my Pac-Man frog. I got a lot of comments from you guys asking how she was doing. It has been a few weeks since I've showed her to you guys. I actually ordered something for Lemon online and it actually arrived today. So before I show you guys Lemon, we're going to be unboxing that on camera today. If you guys enjoyed this video of me feeding Lemon some butterworms, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. So you're probably seeing this and it says live animals. It is technically live animals. I actually ordered Lemon some butterworms. So Emma Sampson here on YouTube actually did a video, I think it may have been a few weeks ago, where she did a huge unboxing for feeder insects. I'm pretty sure that's what the video was. And one of the insects that she opened was butterworms. And I don't know why, but I was like, I have to have some of those. Lemon would love them. After I saw them in her video and she was talking about how much her frogs love them and I know that she's been feeding them to sandwich and sandwich loves them I really wanted to try them for lemon lemon does have a really good diet I do feed her night crawlers different types of worms as well as crickets but I've always wanted to try another type of worm for her you know I do like trying different things whenever I can find them but crazy enough after I saw Emma's video and then I was like I have to have some of those butter worms I really want some I searched high and low for these worms. They were impossible to find. I went to my Petco's, my Pet Smarts, even my huge reptile store that's in town did not have them. So I finally found a website online. They were pretty expensive, so I probably won't be feeding these regularly, obviously, but I did want to try them as kind of like a treat for Lemon and see if she likes them. So we'll go on and do that now, if I can do this without showing you guys my address. But honestly, I've been searching high and low for these darn worms, so I'm actually pretty excited about having them now. And I'm really excited to see if Lemon likes them. And I'm gonna film that for you guys, so that would be exciting too. Um, okay, this is not coming open. <clears throat> Oof, finally got it. Ouch, okay. Let's see what we've got in here. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Just newspaper, very exciting, I know. So here is the container. It says 25 butterworms. Here's what the top of the container looks like. I did get them from a company called Rainbow Mealworms. So thank you, Tori, for suggesting them. They did have the best price, honestly, because these worms are actually really expensive. They also sent me a second cup of something. I'm not sure what this is. I mean, I'm not nervous to open it, but like, low-key nervous to open it because I don't know what this is. I only ordered 25 butterworms and there's no packing slip so I don't know what this is. I'm gonna open this first even though this I'm kind of nervous. Why am I nervous? It's just bugs. Why well, I hate bugs. Okay so this looks empty which you know now that I think back I, I think I did ask them to send me an extra cup of just the food so that actually might be what they did but I thought that I just thought about asking them that. I didn't think I actually typed it in the requests maybe I did maybe I did actually do what I thought I wanted to do and ask them for extra like bedding because I was like well I don't know how long it's gonna take me to feed off these worms so I was like I thought to myself I should ask them to send me some extra bedding just in case you know like they need like extra food or whatever okay so here are the butter worms we're gonna go on and open them kind of nervous I just hate bugs so perfect video to film for you guys right oh god just like Cobby web things. I don't know. It's kind of like it looks kind of cobby webby. Is that look look? You see that? I don't know what that is. I don't see a worm. So I'm gonna get lemon's tongs, like her little tongs, and then I will see if I can get one out and show you guys. Give me just a second. All right. <clears throat> I got some tongs. This just looks like a big clump of the bedding stuff, and then I don't see any worms. Haven't seen one yet. So. Maybe it'll jump out at me and that'll make for, ooh. Look how that looks like it's like a cocoon or something. Do you see that? It's like a cocoon ball. What if they're all in there? God, why am I scared? Okay, all right, I'm gonna be brave. Pick this up. Oh God, I see one. Ooh, making my skin crawl. So here are the butter worms. I turned their little cocoon upside down. So now we can see them really good. So this is what they look like. You can see they're kind of like yellow and orange. If I drop one, I'm gonna scream. 
So I'll pick one up and show you. Okay, so there's one. So that's what they look like, and we're gonna be feeding them to lemon. How exciting. Now, I've heard they smell like fruit, so I'm gonna smell one. I'm being real brave today. I don't smell fruit. I think I just smell the, the dust, like meal, that meal dust or whatever they're in. I, that's all I smell. Oh wow, they all did cocoon in here together. See, I kind of ripped the cocoon open and you can see them all inside of there. Do you see that? That's crazy, they're all like huddled together. This is very interesting. Oh wow, look. Look, oh my gosh, what's happening? This is so weird, look. Okay, so it, it's not fruity, but I wouldn't describe it as fruity. They do have a scent though, it's not bad. It's just like very weird. Okay, so I feel like I rambled on about the butterworms. This video is not sponsored or anything, by the way. Um, I just really, really wanted to get lemon some of these worms. I've heard that reptiles and amphibians love them, and they're really hard to get, and they are pretty expensive. So I'm pretty excited to have some, and now we are going to be feeding them to lemon. So I hope you guys enjoy watching her eat these. All right, here we have them. They're really, really pretty. They're like orange and yellow. I really wish these were easier to get and that they weren't so expensive. That really stinks, but... Pretty excited to see if Lemon will want one. That's not a very big one. Let's give her a fat one. Yes, oh my gosh, look how fat. Yes, let's give her a fat one. Lemon, do you want a juicy butter worm? There you go. She's like, what is that? I've never had one of those before. She's like, I'm tired. She's like opening her mouth so slowly. She's like minimal effort. She's like barely opening her mouth. Good girl. Good job. All right, what's it taste like? Does it taste fruity? Is it slimy? What's it taste like? Tell me. Lemon approved. You want another one? Did you like it? Good job. We'll go on and give her some clean water. We're gonna go on and spray you down while we're here. All right, we love the butterworms. Thank you so much for watching. Lemon's doing really good. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her and seeing her eat her new butterworms. I think she really liked them. I'm gonna try and give her some more tomorrow. The exciting life of Lemon. <laughs> My little fat blob. All right guys, that is it for this update on Lemon and feeding her the new butterworms that I just got her. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.